All right, we're starting. All right, here we go. So, mm, let's read. So, this is Kato Shoujo by Four Leaf Studios. I have Shannon here. Say hi. Hey. And we're going to be reading out, uh, depending on maybe what the comments say, if we get any comments. <laughs> we'll go without through uh, their uh, choice of girl. Because, as you know, this, if you you randomly click on this, you're an idiot, because I highly suggest you see this game later on in action. So, so yeah, um, I'll be reading the girl voices, and Grant will be... Just, I'll be narrating. Yeah. Just give me a minute. <laughs> uh, ugh. And I'll be helping him out with oh. the hard words. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't even paying attention right there. Shut up! So, <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh, basically, if you don't get what this is, it's a kind of jokish dating simulator. It's an... What is it called? Uh... What's it called? Visual novel. That's it. So, here we go. A light breeze causes the naked branches overhead to rattle in like wooden wind chimes. This is a popular treat for couples in the summer. The Deciduous. Shut up. Decidu <laughs> Shut up. The deciduous trees provide a beautiful green canopy. Far out of sight teachers and of teachers and fellow students. But now, in late winter, it feels like I'm standing under a pile of kindling. I breathe into my cupped hands and rub them together furiously to prevent uh, the cold the them from numbing in the cold. Just like, no, God! Just how long am I expected to wait out here anyway? It's, I'm sure the note said 4 o'clock p.m. Ah, uh, yes, the note. It slipped between my pages of math, my math book, while I wasn't looking. As I decided, as far as cliches go, I'm not, I'm more of a fan for a letter in the locker. But at least this way shows a bit more initiative. As I ponder the meaning of the note, a snowfall gradually thickens. The snowflakes silently fall from the white patent painted sky. The only sign of passing is a stagnant... Shut up. Stagnant. I hate you! The stagnant world. Their slow descent upon the frozen forest make it seem like this it, time has slowed to a crawl. Oh wow, there's even background music right now. I'm actually gonna slow down the text speed because it kind of ruins it for me. The rustling of dry snow underfoot startles me, interrupting me a quiet, interrupting me, <laughs> interrupting the quiet mood. Someone is approaching me from behind. <laughs> Does someone say rape? No. Haseo, you came? Haseo, are you fucking serious? We've so been I over this, <laughs> and you're correcting me. <laughs> All right. Your mic is really low. Uh, low. I hesitate. A barely audible question. However, I recognize the owner of that dainty voice instantly. Oh, my question is dainty. Shut up. <laughs> <sighs> I feel my heart skip a beat. It's a voice I've listened to hundreds of times, but never more I've eavesdropped to a conversation. I turn to the voice and my voice in my dreams, and my heart begins to race. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> I I wanna go. I got the note telling me to wait here. Is it yours? Was it what? It was yours? Question mark. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I just felt him like face palm instantly. Darren, I spent all afternoon. No, no. Damn it! I spent all afternoon. Oh, you're reading it for. <laughs> Damn it! I spent all afternoon trying to come up with a good line that was a result. Pathetic. <laughs> just that one, like pathetic. Pathetic. <sighs> Um, yes. I asked a friend to give you that note. I'm so glad you got it. <laughs> that was robotic. I enjoy so a smile that, that gave me... It's so tense. I couldn't move a single muscle, even if I tried. Oof. <laughs> Dude, I heard his pounding now. <laughs> you done? You done? Yes. Hold <laughs> on. My heart is pounding now, as if I was trying to burst out of my chest and claim the group. What the heck? God, shout out to Adventure Time. Anyone, if you anyone gets that reference, please uh, give me a like out there. <laughs> shout out to that Adventure Time episode. So, uh, here we are, out in the cold. Once again, the wind-up. Hold on a second. 
Freaking dogs. <laughs> Yeah, I'll read this. Once again, the wind stirs up the branches. Once again. <laughs> this noise is music to my ears. Thanks, bitch. I read the line. I know, I can see! <laughs> I want to go flinches ever so softly against the gust of the wind. As it passes, she writes herself as I supported some new confidence. Some confidence. Her eyes lock with mine, and she lazily twirls along her dark hair and around her finger. A long while, the anxious beating of my heart grows louder. <laughs> My throat is tight. I doubt I could even force a word out if I tried. You see, I wanted to know if you'd go out with me. I stand there, motionless, just for my heart pounding. I wanted to say something in reply, but my vocal cords seem like they've been stretched out beyond the breaking point. Is that? I reach up trying to massage my throat, but it only sends a spiking of blinding pain through my all along my arms. It's out! My whole body freezes and I save from my eyes, which sh shoot open in terror. It's out! My beating the beating in my chest suddenly stops and I go to <laughs> I go to weak to the at the knees. The world around me, the canopy, bare tr branches, a dull, <laughs> shut up, a dull winter sky, and want to go, running towards me, all fade to black. Darkness. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> the world around me, the canopy of bare branches. Oh, wait, I already read that. Fuck. <laughs> the last things I remember before slipping away are the sounds of Wanaka screaming for help. <laughs> shut up! <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> the incessant clattering of branches above. Oh, here we go. Here's the, this is the uh, four leaf style animation. Can we skip the hospital part? Because this is really, really. We can't. Can't? <laughs> That's the one thing you want to skip, and we can't. No! No, not the animation, but like the. Oh, no, no, no. We have to. No, it's so. Long. This is. No, this is. Because we're doing this for recording, Shane. God damn it. It's going to take 15 minutes. I don't care! We have to! <laughs> Oh, shut up. Seriously, it's really pointless. I still think that's a bullet, don't you? It's a bullet! <laughs> <laughs> shot through the heart, and you're too late! It's not a heart attack, and almost dead. Oh my god, the freaking doll keeps opening the door. <laughs> I don't know how- How are you doing? Engineering Delta. Production CPL underscore crude. Or crud. <laughs> <laughs> underscore crud. Crud. <laughs> Alright. Let's continue. It's been months, four months since my heart attack. And that whole time, I can probably count the times I've spent left. I've left the hospital room unsupervised on one hand. Four months, a pretty long time. <laughs> SHUT UP! <laughs> it's so long! Four months. <laughs> Stop talking. It's my turn to narrate. So you have nothing to do. It's so long! Four months is a pretty long time when you're left alone. Just with your thoughts. Stop being dark. So I've had plenty of time to go terms with my situation. Arrhythmia. A strange word. A foreign. Alien one. One that you wouldn't you wouldn't want to be in the same room with. Wait, what? <laughs> a rare condition. It causes the heart to act erratically. It's like, whoa, Jesus, dude, calm down. <laughs> whoa. Act erratically. And occasionally beat way too fast. That's called love, bro. It can be fatal. Apparently, I've had it for a long time. This kid's pretty... And I can bet this kid has not had any action if he's... Not if he's not had a heart attack since that point in his life. What is he? Fifteen? That's kind of sad. You're younger than that. I know. And Apparently, it's bad for like a long. Shut up! Oh, it's a voice crack. <laughs> right now, everyone knows your age. What? No, they don't. Shut up. <laughs> they said it was a miracle that I was able to go for that on that long without having anything happen. This kid's gotta have a very boring life. Like honestly, what does he do? Is that really a miracle? 
I guess it was supposed to make me feel better and more appreciative of my life. I really didn't do anything to cheer me up. It's like, <laughs> the doctor's trying to make me, he's like, fuck you. Can we please get this? No! It takes like five hours! I don't care. <laughs> You're gonna have to endure it, I don't care. My parents, I think, were hit harder with the news than I was. Bye. Don't you dare leave. <laughs> Honest to God, don't. My parents, I think, were hit harder by the news than I was. They, practi they practically had two hemorrhages in peace. I had already have a full day just by the then to digest everything. But to them, it was a f all fresh. They were even willing to sell our house to pay for in order for a cure. Damn. Of course there isn't a cure. Damn. Yeah. Are you still here, honestly? Shannon. Well, oh, fuck. <sighs> because of the late discovery... Oh, god damn it, now she's echoing! What are you being so secretive for? Well, okay then. <laughs> because of the late discovery, this condition, I've had to stay in the hospital to recuperate from my treatments. When I was admitted, when I was admitted, it felt as if I was missed. For about a week, my room was filled. With f uh, when the ward was filled with f uh, flow, f la 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 la, full of flowers and cards, balloons and cards. But the vi visitors dwindled. All to get well gifts began to trickle down. To sh nothing shortly after. I realized the only reason I had got so many cards and flowers was because sending their sympathy had been turned into a class project. Maybe some people genuinely concerned, but I doubt it. Even in the beginning, I barely had a visitor, but at the end of the first month, only parents came only my parents came by on a regular basis. Iwanika was the last to stop visiting. After six weeks I never saw her again. We had never talked that much, but she visited anyway. We didn't touch we didn't touch the subject. That was between us and that snowy day ever again. The hospital? It's not really a place I'd like to live in. The doctors and nurses feel so impersonal, faceless. I guess because they were in a hurry. They had a million other patients waiting for them, but it makes me feel comfortable. For the first month or so, I'd ask head cardiologist every time I saw him for a rough estimate on when I'd be able to leave. He never answered me straightforward, but he always told me there'd be C treatment and surgeries worked. So I idly observed the scar. Those that uh, surgeries I left on my chest slowly changed into appearance over time. Think of it as a kind of an omen. I still, ha I still ask the head cardiologist, cardiologist, about leaving, but my expectations are low enough now that I, not, I, I'm not disappointed. About anymore when I don't get a reply. The way he sh the way he shuffles around answers shows that there's at least some hope. At some point I stopped watching TV. I don't know why, I just did. What? Two and a half men come on? <laughs> Maybe it was kind of wrong of escapism escapism for my situation. <laughs> I started reading instead. It's a very small library, quote unquote. At the hospital. I know what you mean. Although it was more than a storage room for books, I began to working my way through it, one small stack at a time. After consuming them, <laughs> he ate them. I just pictured him at the library, just slowly chomping down on some of the Alice in Wonderland, maybe the Great Gatsby. <laughs> Delicious read. I would go back for more. I found like reading. I think it even. I even became a bit addicted. I started feeling naked without my books in my hands. But I love the stories. That was like life. To, that was my life was like. To, the days became increasingly harder to distinguish from each other, differing by only the book I was reading and whether weather outside. It felt like it, bl like time blurred into some kind of gooey mass that tripped, trapped inside, instead of moving within. A week could go by without me, lit me really noticing it. Sometimes I'd pause in realization that I didn't know the day of the week was. But other times, all things around me painfully crash into my consciousness. Like, oh, fuck! <laughs> through, through the barrier of my... God damn it, I do need Shannon here. 
<laughs> Nonchalance. I had... Is that? I'm not sure. I had to step up for myself. The pages in the book were starting to feel sharp, burning hot in the heaviness, in which my chest became so hard to bear that I, w I put a book aside and just lay down for a while. Looking at the ceiling was as if I was going to cry. But it only happened really. I couldn't even cry. You know, at this point, I think I'll just save here. I've had other saves, but, you know. Uh, I think that's enough for this, for today at least. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching.